Um, I'm working on our summer research with Dr. Brenda Kelly. It's basically it's about um, a biochemical uh, field thing about a proteins enzyme, working on the enzyme um, to monitor the protein production, things like that. I was really into those bio and chemical fields when I was in high school. So the month I got into college, we, we do have like some regular labs through, throughout the whole year. But um, I feel like just by just following those labs, it would be like just doing things they told you. Because you were just basically following the lab manuals, what is on there, and instead of like thinking by yourself. But doing research, it's kind of different because you won't get like success for every experiment you're doing. Sometimes you just got to figure out what's going on and what's wrong. And that's the very important part that I would like to do is just to create like think by yourself, not just like following what's right down there on the test book. Well, I'm working on my thesis mostly and other odds and ends jobs uh, here in the geology department. Basically, uh, for my thesis, I'm doing a bunch of background research during the summer. My thesis is on the occurrence of gold in the Virginia Horn area in northeastern Minnesota. Basically, um, my professor while writing a report on the whole area, Virginia Horn area in northeastern Minnesota, came across some quartz veins that uh, had gold in it. He saw gold in some of it. And one of the students in 1998, one of his students um, kind of ran with that and had come up with some hypotheses on you know, how it forms or when it forms. And basically I'll be kind of honing in on that, trying to take it you know, a step further by um, seeing if there is a finite relationship or relationships you know, that occur over and over, a systematic relationship. This summer I'm working on a two-person musical with Dr. Henry McCarthy as our professor. Um, I'm working with Michael Forrest Davidson, who is a senior, and Sam Grace, who is also a senior, and then Kimberly Braun is our stage manager. Um, the show Thrill Me is about Leopold and Loeb, who are two teenagers in, grew up, growing up in the 1920s, and they had everything at their disposal. They had money, they had a college education, um, they grew up in great families, um, but they were really into Nietzsche and um, that kind of informed a lot of their decisions and how they wanted to prove that they were superior human beings to everyone else. So they decided to um, commit these crimes and it eventually led to them killing a 12-year-old kid um, and they wanted to prove that they could get away with these things and that they were better than the law. But this play really explores their relationship more so than the crimes themselves. And it's really, it's really powerful and very intimate and very interesting to see this character study unfold on stage. I'm working on um, incorporating metals back into two different proteins. Currently we cloned them and now we're just working on purifying so then we can use them in our folding and incorporation studies. This summer we're working on a research project focusing on the Joint Religious Legislative Coalition and they are an interest group based in the cities and they're made up of four faiths, Catholics, Protestants, Jews, and Muslims, and they advocate on social justice issues. So we're kind of doing a case study of that group. You know, when I was an undergraduate at a small liberal arts college, I was able to do some research with a faculty member, and it opened my eyes to the world of a, an academic life. And um, so it was really a valuable experience for me. And so while I've been at Gustavus, I've tried to include students in my research projects. I think it's especially helpful for students that might have an interest in going on and pursuing higher degrees, um, just to give them a sense of what the process is like and what the lifestyle is like um, to be able to have that experience in working with a faculty member. This summer, I have been working on the unfolding studies of myohemethrin, a protein from Phascolopsis gode. The, it's necessary for us to actually study the folding processes because some, the function of the protein is actually closely associated with the process by which it folds. 
Well, this summer I'm working um, in the biochemistry lab with under Dr. Brenda Kelly, and I'm working on studying an enzyme called gamma glutamyl cysteine ligase, which is essentially an enzyme that is very important in the making of a very important biomolecule called glutathione. And so what we do is we, take, we try to um, inhibit our enzyme because glutathione, its ultimate byproduct, or its ultimate product, is um, very, it's very uh, biologically active in that cancer cells that have a high concentration of our enzyme and subsequently this product uh, are implicated in chemotherapeutic resistance. So our aim is to find inhibitors, inhibitory compounds that we can bind or link to our enzyme that prevents it from making this biomolecule that ultimately makes cancer cells basically impermeable to uh, chemotherapeutic drugs. Well, I've always been really fascinated with uh, like just science in general. And when the opportunity came up, uh, actually last summer, for the Howard Hughes Medical Institute grant for first years to do summer research, I kind of jumped on the opportunity because like it's a, you know, it's a really good thing to be involved in here in science because science is so much more than reading a textbook because let's face it, science doesn't happen in a textbook, it happens with people actually in the lab doing research. And that kind of, that, I really wanted that experience because I mean I've heard scientists talk about, you know, Nobel laureates when they discover something that that great feeling of discovery and you know we're not maybe not doing Nobel laureate research here but just every little discovery is something that's really cool and you really appreciate science and nature when you're in the lab seeing it firsthand and you're learning a lot and I also really just wanted to learn a ton and I've learned a ton.